Welcome to the Glen Hollow Cemetery, my yard haunt for 2013. Not much has changed from last year, although you can see two of the biggest changes right now. The flying axeworthy ghost and the cobwebs that I put in the trees. But otherwise, no new tombstones. That uh, tomb pitcher coffin is from last year and the obelisk is from last year. I did add a few more crows, which I'm very fond of. And I did modify the fogger to include a timer, which has been very helpful in keeping the yard fully fogged. And there she goes by again. The sound effects you are hearing are from the Axworthy Ghost herself, Emma Spector. I mounted a small MP3 player, small amplifier and speaker setup, and a couple of LED lights and batteries inside her and managed to keep the whole thing afloat. Of course, I have to show off my bush monster, which gets the most scares of anything, frankly. Um, I also modified uh, some of the incandescent lamps in the lantern there to use uh, flicker LEDs instead that uh, I, I like the effect a lot more than just a small incandescent bulb. There she is. She's much more impressive at night, which you're going to see in just a minute. Also added this year was a new audio system. I was tired of putting my Yamaha out on my moist lawn, so instead I went to Goodwill and got an old 75-watt uh, amplifier. It's just a shelf system, but it does a beautiful job. Experimenting with uh, new cobwebs. I'll see if I can do a better job next year. But the real prize is Emma Spector here and her screaming laments. She actually kept one teenager from coming on my yard at all. Well, I eventually coaxed him into coming in. And here's the background of the Axeworthy. I'm using a spinning pole to keep the torque on through this rope. The rope is attached to the eaves and, and this bucket, which I load up with about 80 pounds worth of rocks, powering the whole thing with a computer power supply. Uh, running through an old Black & Decker uh, cordless circular saw. Now we're a little later at night. There's Emma. Their eyes are much more prominent now. And all the lights on the, on the house are lit up. All of this lighting and special effects. I really am surprised we didn't get more of the teenagers walking across the street to go up to Morgan Ranch to join us. But I guess I'm not giving out good enough candy. I make them work for it. They actually have to walk through fog. There she is. Screaming away. The effect is really nice, but I'm going to have to mix things up next year and get a better line. The kite line I used just didn't hold her strongly enough. I kept having to pull the slack out of it. Taking the opportunity here to just get some quick video of my various tombstones that I've been making in previous years. I meant to have some more done for this year, but just ran out of time. There she is. Go, Emma, go. clairvoyance. I'm surprised she didn't see it coming. And I got a little memory. And there's Emma's gravestone with her coffin that just won't stay buried. And one last flyby from her with the planet Venus just over the horizon. And good night, everyone. I hope you had a happy and safe Halloween.